hello dear friend you are welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to show how to differentiate between rccb and rcbo as in how to identify one from the other for more information on the functions of these two devices that's the rccb and the rcbo please kindly watch my video on what is rcd rccb rcbo detailed explanation before I talk about how to differentiate between RCCB and RCD, I will briefly like to demonstrate how to wire an RCBO in an electrical wiring. Okay, so this is an example of RCBO. There are smaller ones like 6 amps, 10 amps, 16 amps, and 20 amps that are used to protect individual circuits in an electrical wiring. And there are higher rated ones like 63 amps, 100 amps, and so on that are also used to protect several circuits in an electrical wiring. For example, the one I have here is a 63 amp RCB. All right, so this is how the smaller ones look like. It has an input live and neutral connections, and sometimes it comes with an earth connection. All right, so let me talk about the one with the earth connection first. In case you are connecting this in your wiring, the input live is connected at the down terminal here and the neutral is already brought out. This blue wire is the input neutral connection and then this yellow and green cable around the blue one is the earth wire. So you connect the blue wire to the neutral terminal in the consumer unit and then the yellow and green will connect to the earth terminal in the consumer unit. And then the output live and neutral connections are taken from here to the load. Okay, so it's quite simple. All right, so let's talk about this type also. This one doesn't come with an earth connection. So it is live and neutral input, live and neutral output. In the case of the RCBO, you don't need any additional MCB as in the case of the RCCB. You just make sure that the in and out live and neutral connections are connected appropriately at the right terminals. All right, so as I mentioned earlier, the higher rated RCBOs are used in an electrical wiring to protect the whole wiring or to protect a number of circuits in the wiring. It can both perform the functions of an MCB as well as RCD. All right, so this is an example of an RCBO connected in a circuit to protect all these circuits. This is rated 63 amp and you can see that it is a type C MCB that is used in this RCBO. Then we also have the RCD rating here, 30 milliamp. All right, so here is the live input to the RCBO, and this is the neutral input to the RCBO. And then when we come to the down part here, this is the output live terminal, and then this is the output neutral terminal and so this is used as the main breaker for this wiring so now let's move on to the main topic how to identify an rccb from rcb or how to differentiate between the two and in this video i'm going to show you two sure ways that you will be able to differentiate between these two devices. All right, so first, you can identify an RCBO by the type of MCB incorporated. You know, RCBO is a combination of MCB and RCD. Okay, so on the RCBO, we have an MCB rating, and then we also have an RCD rating. The MCB rating comes with the type of MCB it is. For example, a 63 amps RCBO should have a rating such as C63 and then 30 milliamp. So this simply says that this RCBO is using a type C MCB. 
incorporated with a 30 milliamp RCD. Or you may see the rating on an RCBO as B63 and then 30 milliamp. The prefix before the ampere rating indicates the type of MCB. Please take note that in my next video, I'll be talking about the various types of MCBs and where to appropriately use them. When it comes to RCCBs, let's take a 63 amp RCCB for instance. The 63 amp rating here only indicates the amount of current that this device can withstand continuously without deteriorating. And so on an RCCB, the rating will be shown as 63, no prefix, and then the RCD rating in milliamps. So for instance, here you have 63 amps and then 30 milliamp here. So this doesn't feature any type of MCB. And so you know by that that it is an RCCB. It can only work as an RCCB. It cannot work as an MCB. All right. So that is one way that you can differentiate between an RCCB and then an RCBO. Now, before I continue, I must also make it clear that there are also types of RCDs, just as we have types of MCBs. But then, how are these types identified? How would you know whether this RCD is a type B or type A or type AC RCD? I'll talk about this in details in my subsequent videos. And it is very important to know the different types of RCDs and how they work so that you will know which one to use in a particular wiring, depending on the kind of loads you have in that wiring. All right. The second way that we can be able to identify an RCBO from an RCD is by looking for the standard that it is marked or certified as complying with. All right, we have the International Electrotechnical Commission that develops standards, that is global standards for electrical and electronic products. And so for instance, we have IEC 61008, that is an IEC number. IEC means International Electrotechnical Commission. So this number represents a standard for RCCBs. And then we also have the IEC 61009 that applies to RCBOs. All right, so these numbers are marked on RCCBs and RCBOs to show that they comply with the IEC standard. Because the IEC standards are global, they are international, a lot of countries recognize it and use it as their own standard. And so sometimes you see these numbers written on RCCBs and RCBOs with different abbreviations, but it's the same standard. And so it is the numbers that are important and then not the abbreviations that come before the numbers. It is not mandatory for every country to use the IEC standard, but a lot of countries recognize and use it. So depending on where you get your RCCB or your RCBO from, it may be marked or certified to comply with a different standard other than the IEC standard. In my next video, I'll be talking about types of MCBs, and you don't have to miss that. Thank you very much for watching. Please, if you have learned something new from this video, like and share to others to also benefit. And please, if you have not yet subscribed, kindly do well to do so, so you don't miss out on my subsequent videos. See you again in my next video.